welcome to my channel so here we are with our first wig transformation we're starting off with the 16 inch full lace wig straight texture from rpg show wig i'm sure many of you are familiar with them they're like all over youtube for starters we're going to trim the wig to an even length all the way around. Trimming the wig all the way around basically makes it easier when it comes time to coloring because I already know that I'm going to trim it a little bit more anyway. And there you have it, the trim is good. It was a very simple light trim. We're gonna start off with Short Scoff Blonde Me and as well as the L'Oreal Excellence High Color for dark hair only in the color Soft Brown. So this technique that I'm using here is basically a technique used for creating highlights. And in this case, we're doing highlights and lowlights. And the purpose of us doing highlights and lowlights in here, we're not going very blonde or anything, more for browns and neutral tones, but it's basically to create a gradient effect, giving the hair a little bit of depth and warmth. We're going to repeat these steps all the way around the wig, not in any uniform sections, in a sense a bit scattered so that the highlights can look very natural looking and not forced. So now that we have it all colored, we're gonna use a little bit of argan oil for the blow drying process. And you just wanna get that all over the hair to make sure you don't have any dry ends or anything like that. Ah, here I am using my favorite blow dryer, the Silver Bird from Sally's. I'm sure Everyone who has it loves it. This blow dryer does not play. I'm gonna follow up with a hot comb. I use an Annie hot comb. I got it from Amazon. Before we start flat ironing, I'm using the Kenra Silkening Mist just to give a little bit of heat protection before we start pressing the hair. And we're going to basically press the wig out completely. Oh, look, there you go. You can see a bit of the highlights there. Oh, look at that shine. Yes, you definitely want to straighten the bang and give it a little bit of bump before you cut it. And this method right here is a method that I use just to get it a little bit shorter before I actually go in and do the final cut for bangs. Um, I'm sure there are better ways to cut bangs, but this is just the way that I cut lines. If you have any other suggestions on better ways, um, feel free to leave that in the comment section. I look forward to seeing everyone's comments and, you know, how you guys feel about this wig transformation. Look at that shine. Hair is looking healthy. It's a nice brown color with subtle highlights completely throughout, giving it a beautiful soft brown color, perfect for literally any time of year.